Prayer for Protection Let us pray. You can join and pray along with me. Dear Father Lord, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for the gift of life and for your continual protection of my life. Father Lord, safety is thine and because safety comes from neither north nor south, nor east nor west, for it is you and only you that gives the trusted and maximum safety. And until you secure or protect a city, the watchmen keep vigil in vain. Psalm 127 verse 1 Except the Lord build the house, they labor in vain that build it, except the Lord keep the city, the watchman waketh but in vain. Therefore dear Father Lord, in the light of this truth, and knowledge of the fact that only you can truly protect, and that protection is of thee dear Lord, I come unto you this hour, dedicating and handing my life unto you. Even though it is you that has given me the life, but dearest Lord, I hand it over back to you to protect and preserve, for true and sure security is of thee. Because many are out there who delight in my downfall, and my early procession to the grave. They for no just cause, do not want my life and my existence, and it's not that I have killed, destroyed or stolen things that are theirs, but for sheer envy and hatred of your works in my life. Therefore dear Lord, will you allow them? God forbid. For the Bible says in Job chapter 34 verse 10. Therefore hear me, you men of understanding. Far be it from God that he would do wickedness. And from the Almighty to do wrong. Dear Father Lord, you delight in justice and judgment, and because I have done no evil against them who are deserving of my death, therefore dear Lord, protect me and deliver me from their evil imaginations and plans. In accordance with your word of Isaiah 54 verse 14 through 17 says, In righteousness shalt thou be established, thou shalt be far from oppression, for thou shalt not fear, and from terror, for it shall not come near thee. Behold, they shall surely gather together, but not by me, whosoever shall gather together against thee shall fall for thy sake. Behold, I have created the smith that bloweth the coals in the fire, and that bringeth forth an instrument for his work, and I have created the waster to destroy. No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper, and every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment thou shalt condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and their righteousness is of me, saith the Lord. Therefore dear Lord, I come unto you this hour, handing my life, my businesses, my family and households over to you. To preserve and protect against the evil onslaughts of the devil and his wicked cohorts. In the name of Jesus. Dear Heavenly Father, protect and deliver me from every attack of men, in whichever means, way, approach or dimensions they may come. Deliver me from physical attacks, spiritual attacks, lingual attacks, let it apply to me as it is in your word of Job chapter 5 from verses 21 to 27. Which says, Thou shalt be hidden from the scourge of the tongue, and thou shalt not be afraid of destruction when it cometh. At destruction and famine thou shalt laugh, and of the beasts of the earth thou shalt not be afraid. For thou shalt be in league with the stones of the field, and the beasts of the field shall be at peace with thee. And thou shalt know that thy tent is in peace, and thou wilt survey thy fold, and miss nothing. And thou shalt know that thy seed is numerous, and thine offspring is the herb of the earth. Thou shalt come to the grave in a ripe age, as a shock of corn is brought in in its season. Behold this, we have searched it out, so it is, hear it, and know thou it for thyself. Dear Father Lord, hate and deliver me from the scourge of the lacerating tongues of those who live by curses and cursing. Deliver me from the scandal mongers and the abusers. And from those who live and thrive in disinformation and distractive criticisms, in the name of Jesus Christ. Save and secure me from physical descriptions, the destructions by natural disasters, destruction from accidents and sudden mishaps. Deliver me also dear Lord, from the sudden breakout of endemic, epidemic and pandemic and diseases. Save me dear Father Lord from economic destructions, from famines, austerities, meltdowns and depression. In the name of Jesus. In the time of famine, let it be unto me as your word says in the eventuality of hunger and disasters as your word says O Lord in Job chapter 5 verse 22. That at destruction and famine thou shalt laugh, neither shalt thou be afraid of the beasts of the earth. Let me be at peace and with more than enough even in the time of austerity, 
lack and scarcity, in the name of Jesus Christ I pray you dear Heavenly Father. Save and deliver me from lack, want and abjection, so that when people are saying there is casting down, I can confidently be saying there is lifting up. For your word says in Job chapter 22 verse 29. When men are cast down, then thou shalt say, there is lifting up, and he shall save the humble person. For on you dear Lord I have set my love on, and you promise me dear Lord, in Psalms 91 verse 14. That because I hath set my love upon you, therefore will you deliver me, and will set me on high, because I hath known thy name. Heavenly Father, according to your word, deliver me from sicknesses and death. Deliver me from slavery and servitude. Deliver me from lack and want. Deliver me from wars and troubles. Deliver me from family crisis. Deliver me from the yokes of the devil. Deliver me from sack and demotions. Deliver me from the hands of the workers of iniquities, and most importantly dear Lord, deliver me from eternal death and hell. In the name of Jesus Christ I pray. Dear Heavenly Father, I pray now for all my listeners. Dear Lord in the name of Jesus, let every of my listener remain in your care and protection. After the order of your word of Psalms 91 verse 1, which says, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Psalms 91 verse 2, I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God, in Him will I trust. Psalms 91 verse 3, Surely He shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler, and from the noisome pestilence. Verse 4. He shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shalt thou trust, his truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Verse 5. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day. Psalms 91 verse 6. Nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. Verse 7. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Verse 8. Only with thine eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. Psalms 91 verse 9. Because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the Most High, thy habitation. Verse 10. There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. Verse 11. For he shall give his angels charge over thee, to keep thee in all thy ways. Psalms 91 verse 12. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. Verse 13. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and adder, the young lion and the dragon shalt thou trample under feet. Verse 14. Because he hath set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him, I will set him on high because he hath known my name. Psalms 91 verse 15. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him, I will be with him in trouble, I will deliver him, and honor him. And verse 16. With long life will I satisfy him, and show him my salvation. Father, let thus be the heritage of all my listeners from now henceforth. In the name of Jesus Christ, let all they have lost before this time be returned and restored unto them in accordance with your promise of restoration as we see in your word of Joel chapter 2 verse 25 through 27, which says, And I will restore to you the years that the locust hath eaten, the cankerworm, and the caterpillar, and the palmer worm, my great army which I sent among you. And ye shall eat in plenty, and be satisfied, and praise the name of the Lord your God, that hath dealt wondrously with you, and my people shall never be ashamed. And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel, and that I am the Lord your God, and none else, and my people shall never be ashamed. Protect them also dear Father Lord from the flatterers, sycophants and praise singers who flatter and praise sing men into an early grave. Give them the wisdom of discernment so as to be quick to detect when the enemy the devil wants to encroach into their life affairs in the name of Jesus. Like with Job, make an impregnable hedge over all that you have blessed them with so that Satan the enemy will not be able to access their lives and property, in the name of Jesus I pray you dear Lord. Amen. Kindly give us a thumbs up to like this video. 
it will help the video to reach more people. Are you new here? Subscribe, and leave the notification button on so that you will be notified whenever we release a new video. God bless you.